to our English class. Today we will be doing our last lesson of unit 2 that is chapter 16. Let's go ahead. Let's write your own story. So let's understand the lesson children. For that I want you to please take your textbooks out and I will explain as to how you have to make your own story. So let's start. From group of 5, look at a chart given on pages 40 and 41. Each person in the group is given only one column to choose from. From column A, one person chooses any 5 characters. From column B, another person can choose any 5 characters or qualities for these characters. From column C, D and E, the 3 remaining children choose the story type period and one setting place respectively now here it is a group activity children since we are not in the virtual classroom we are not doing it in a classroom so as we are in the online study process it is not possible for us to do this activity as a group so let us do this activity individually so I want you each one of you to please take five characters from column A and from column B you will choose any five characteristics or qualities for these characters okay from column C D and E three remaining children it is not three remaining children but you will individually select from column C column D and column E one one element you will be choosing I'll give you what exactly is there in column A B C D and E so let's go ahead so after choosing the element you have to put all the elements together and build a story and play with it if you have any siblings you can just play with them okay but I want you to make a story with the elements which you have chosen from all the five topics that is a b c d and e okay you may also choose the other supporting characters and move from one setting or time period to another time period if necessary but you may use what you choose first so whatever you choose you can make a story out of that otherwise you can also choose other elements from uh, any of the characters as per your requirement all right children so i'll explain you what's in a column magician schoolgirl schoolboy mouse thief soldier farmer dinosaur merchant king queen dog scientist a superhero robo detective neighbor elf acrobat pilot hawker now out of these you need to choose any five characters okay let me explain the meaning of an elf elf is a mythological being especially one that is small and mischievous and what's an acrobat acrobat a person who entertains people by doing difficult and skillful uh, uh, skillful physical things such as walking along a tight rope you must be seeing in circus and as a for example a gymnast okay now i hope you understood that and let's look at what hawker is hawker is someone who makes money who earns money by selling goods okay children so these are the elements of a column let's go to b column in this you have to choose again five elements any five elements from b so i'll read out brave coward wicked kind weak bullying nosy forgetful very intelligent scholar talkative silly shy honest cunning loyal rash helpful selfish strong so out of these you need to pick out any five elements and write them down in a notebook from column a you write down five from column b you have to write down five any of your choice 
and I'll explain you the meaning of bullying. Bullying is hurting or frightening someone who is smaller or less powerful than you. At times, your elder brothers, they try to trouble you. They try to pull your legs. That is called bullying. If you have a younger sister, you also must be troubling them just for fun's sake. So that is called bullying. And what's nosy? Too interested in what other people are doing and wanting to find out too much about them. Like you're like very much inquisitive in knowing what exactly others are doing. Okay, I want to know what you're talking. I want to know what they are doing. So that kind of attitude in ourselves is called being nosy. Okay, now rash. Rash means careless or unwise without thought for what might happen okay without even thinking about it you have someone is very careless that is called rash okay children now let's all right let's go to now column c d and e so we need to pick up one one element from each column one from c one from d one from e I'll read out what are the elements for you in column C, fairy tale, fantasy, mystery, adventure, ordinary, success story, funny, science fiction, tragic and play. So these are what you need to pick up one. So what are these children? This is a story type. What kind of story you will be making? So for that you need to choose one topic. Now in D column that is time period so usually whenever you are beginning with a, a story or when you are building up a story you need to have a time period so I'll read out for you whatever you want you can pick up one from this column in the time of caveman upon once upon a time 1000 to 500 years ago 20 years ago now 20 years from now 200 years from now when dinosaurs lived on the earth so whenever you're beginning a story usually you begin with one of these or the story period which you are going to tell will be a part of this time period now let's look at column e place your city town or village and another planet in a faraway land in a desert in a forest in a hill fort on an island in a big city in space in a small kingdom so where is the story where will the story take place that's what you have to choose one topic from this column e so all together five from a five from b one from c one from d one from e so this is the way you need to select so, so children I have made a story with the topic Bobby Brain and the Thief. The elements which I picked up from each column are Magician, Thief, King from column A, Kind from column B, Mystery from column C, Once Upon a Time from column D. So these are the elements which I picked up to make this story. So please pay attention to what I'm reading out for you. Once upon a time, in a small kingdom, there lived a king who was very kind. Every day, in court, the people would assemble and tell him their problems. So children, I hope you understood this. There was a kingdom and once upon a time, in that kingdom, there lived a king who was very kind. Every day, in that court, people would gather to tell their problems to the king. Next paragraph. One day a magician came to the court. Your majesty, he said, I have been doing magic tricks for years, but for the last few days I have been facing a very unusual problem. So this magician was facing some problems, so he wanted to express that in front of the king so he went to the court every day i lose one of the one of my trick either a pack of magic cards or my juggling balls or my magic hat i have tried my best but i 
cannot find out who the thief is. So please help me, your majesty, to find the thief. The king appointed his wise man, Bobby Brain, to live in the magician's house for a few days and try to catch the thief. So when the magician has told the problem to the king, the king has helped by giving a wise man whose name was Bobby Brain to the magician and he trolled him to help the magician. So Bobby Brain went to the magician's house. The magician lived with his wife and son. In the house were three servants. There was also the keeper of the horses and gardener. So who all were there children in the house? Wife and son. Along with that three servants were there. So there was also a keeper of horses and gardener. For the first two days nothing happened. Then on the third day magician lost his cloak. Now what is the meaning of cloak children? It is a long coat. That night Bobby Brain kept watch around midnight till the house was open softly and someone came in. The figure went slowly up the stairs to the magician's walk room. It took out the key and opening the door went in. Bobby Brain waited outside. So the figure went out and took out the key and opened the door. But there went Bobby Brain who waited outside. The figure then came out with some something in its hand. Bobby Brain clasped the man's shoulder and shouted, Thief! Thief! as loud as he could. The others came running in. Candles were lit. To everyone's surprise, it was the keeper of the horses. The magician asked him to explain his deeds. So finally Bobby Brain caught the thief and he shouted thief thief when he shouted everyone came running with the candles lit and who was the thief children it was the person who was taking care of the horses so Maji Bobby Brain asked why did you do this so he said I'm really sorry but I'm really sorry sir but about few years ago I had come to you to learn magic but when you saw that I was learning well, you became jealous. You thought I would be a better magician than you. So you told me to go away. You treated me very rudely. I decided to come back. So I posed as a keeper of horses and came to work for you. I have decided to come back. I have been talking I've been taking away your t tricks so that I could practice. I very much want to be a magician like you. So this is the desire of that person. So that's why he started stealing the things of the magician. And he was trying the tricks and practicing them every day by stealing those things. So he confessed. He told the truth to the magician. So the case was taken to the king. So the king told the magician, Never treat anyone rudely. One day or the other, your deeds will come back to you. It is my wish that you take this man under your wing and teach him your tricks. Be kind to the man and one day he will be of use to you. So this is the suggestion which is given by the king to the magician he said don't be rude to anyone take this man and help him out and teach him so that he will be of you of some use to you in future and be kind to everyone he said the king suggestion was very good and wise so children this is the story which i have made now I want you to make a story, so please turn to page 40, there where how you have to make the story and what all should be a part of story. I will just give you few important things you need to put in in the story. So story should have good description, 
you will have to use some adjectives if you can events and actions should be mentioned dialogues and conversation and also monologues if you like now what is a monologue it's a long speech by one person in a story or play uh, some surprises for the readers or the person who's listening so you need to put in some surprises so please share the story whatever you have written with your family and your friends ask them how it is all right children so i want you to write down make a story in your notebook and then when we start collecting your books for correction we will be checking them okay children that's it for now have a good day bye bye